guys. Okay, so this is a video for people who are non-readers and they want to try and get into reading. And I've made a pile of recommendations based on books that we don't see a lot of on YouTube. I actually haven't read any of these new young adult uh, books that have been coming out, uh, except The Hunger Games which I guess you could classify as young adult. I don't know. I've, I just don't know what young adult means. People need to be more specific on what young adult is. I just don't know. But anyway, this is from, these all, most of them are from the teen section. Because whenever I went over to England, because I live in Portugal, they'd only have a teen section. I've never seen a young adult section. So, I guess they're young adults, but I didn't get them from a young adult section, specifically. And I've chosen series because I feel like a series is the best option if you're just starting to read. Because then you know what to read next, and then you get really get the ball rolling, and then, yeah. You see this first series is for, I'd say, a really young audience. Like, 10, 11, 12, if any little people are watching. This is this is going to be a good series for you. And it is... What is it called? I think it's called the Diamond Brothers series. The books are written by Anthony Horowitz, which was one of my favourite writers when I was young. And... <laughs> when I was young. I'm so old. Anyway, it's about two brothers, Tim Diamond and Nick Diamond, who form a detective agency and each book is about a different case that they have solved. There's Nick, the older brother, and he's not a very good detective. Uh, the main character is Tim, the younger brother. Together they form a really cool team and they go on adventures together solving these cases. So I'll just give you a rundown of each book. The first one is The Falcon's Malteser. I remember, I actually remember really liking the covers when I was younger, but looking at them now, they are really tacky, but whatever. They're still nice. Public Enemy number two. South by Southeast. And then these are like three smaller ones that he did. The Blurred Man. They're really thick, really, really tiny. I finished these all at once. The French Confection. And I know what he did last Wednesday. I don't really know how many people that age will be watching this video, but if you are, Good series, that. Again, I'm only mentioning the books I haven't seen a lot of on YouTube. Because the ones that are on YouTube, you don't need me to recommend you them. You already know about them. This next series is the Alex Ryder series, also by Anthony Horowitz. There's uh, the first one, Stormbreaker, which I don't have. I actually borrowed that book from my cousin. And I remember liking it so much that I bought the rest. But I never ended up getting the first one, so. So this is the second one, Point Blank, Skeleton Key, Eagle Strike, Scorpia, Archangel, and Snakehead. And I think there's a, f a couple more, I don't know, I think there's a few more, but I obviously don't read these anymore, because I've kind of grown out of them, but I still I think they're a good series. It's about... Realistically, nowadays I don't think I'd ever pick up books like these, but they're basically about... Um, it's about a teenage spy hired by MI6, and he doesn't want to be a spy, but MI6 makes him be a spy, and then he goes off on all these spy adventures, and they're actually really good. There's some really entertaining ones, and they're really consistent, like, there's no, like, really bad one. They're all, like, they're all equally go as good as each other. So if you like the first one, you'll like the rest in the series. So if you're interested in the whole super spy thing, these are really good books. You should give them a go. The next three are from another series called The Power of Five, again by Anthony Horowitz. Um... I didn't collect the whole series because, again, I kind of grew out of it and I like reading more mature stuff now, so it's not that they're bad books, I'm just not as interested in them anymore. But 
Uh, these here were cool ones. These, this is the Power of Five. Um, the first one's Raven's Gate. Got Evil Star and Night Rise. I don't remember a whole lot about them. Again, I'm trying to judge these books based on memory, but I remember these being pretty cool. Um, yeah. I uh, like them. Give, you should give them a go if you're into supernatural stuff. And if you're a person who isn't that into all these love stories that exist in this younger literature nowadays, these are good because they have literally no romance in them. I don't think this had any romance in it. I think the Alex Ryder series had a bit, but it was a really tiny one and didn't distract from the story at all. Okay, so say you're into horror movies and stuff, these three are from, I think it's just called the Darren Shan Saga, and the author's actually called Darren Shan, so he's putting himself in a book, I guess, but these three are really cool. Um, the first one's Cirque du Freak, second, The Vampire's Assistant, and there's Tunnels of Blood. And there's quite a lot of books in this series, there's, well, when I got this when I was 12, but there's probably more now. But I think if you're young and you're looking for something to read, he makes really good horror books. So this is one of his series. I only read three. And this is one of his other series called The Demonata. I think that's the name of the series. And look at these have amazing covers. Look at these covers. Lord Loss. Demon Thief. Slaughter, Beck. Uh, I've only got the first four, there's still more. Again, I kind of grew out of it, but I actually might buy the rest just because of the covers. And the stories were cool too, but these covers are amazing. I think this one glows in the dark actually. It's about this guy called Grubbs Grady and he has like this gift of patching together portals to other dimensions and in these other dimensions there's some really nasty things about mainly demons and these demons are not to be toyed with but basically this has lots of blood and guts and gore and all that good stuff okay this next series really is really sweet if you're into uh, nature and ancient tribes and all that. I think the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series will really tickle your fancy. They're by Michelle Paver and we've got Wolf Brother, Spirit Walker, Ooh. Soul Eater and Outcast. And I think there's, again, more in this series, but I stopped buying them. They're really cool, they're really interesting. You can tell the author had to do a lot of research to write these books. They've got, they're about these clans, and it's got cool stuff in it. It's got like evil spirits in it, and the characters are really sweet. I really like these books. This next series is for the adults, and if you like dry British humour and fantasy and adventure, then this is the perfect series for you. It's called the Discworld series and it's by Terry Pratchett. And I love this series. This is like the only series from the lot that I'm still reading. And the great thing about these is that you don't have to read them in order. You can just pick any one of them up and you'll be fine, I think. That's what I did. And the ones I've got are The Light Fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Feet of Clay, Lords and Ladies, The Hog Father. This was probably my favourite one I've read so far. It's really good. And look at the covers, they're so. I love these covers. The artwork is fantastic. And this is the last one I read, which was third, which was good too. I don't have as big as a collection as I'd like because I gave them away. And if I don't like a book, I will not sacrifice bookshelf space for it. I will give it to somebody else 
or go donate it somewhere. But I won't keep it. I only keep books that I actually like. Okay, so those are my recommendations for non-readers. They were the books I think would be really great if you're just starting off. I tried to give a wide range of age groups. Hopefully you found something that you'd want to read, or at least that you hadn't seen before. Um, yeah, that's it. Say hello to your job. Say bye. Bye, man. Uh, bye, Ziggy. Just ruin my books.